everyone even here welcome back to my channel I have for you guys today a tag video I um, wasn't tagged by anyone to do this tag but I saw Samantha Riley hi Sam um, she did this tag and I thought it was just so fun so I told her that I was definitely gonna do it even though I wasn't tagged so the tag is 100 things no one asked tag so I'm just gonna jump right into the question because I think it's a hundred questions okay it says here bonus Jonas question something that happened to you in middle school Ooh, something happened to me in middle school well this um i don't know if they mean like why you were in middle school or in actual school so i'm gonna give you something that happened while i was in middle school att attending middle school don't trust me i was in the i believe i was in the seventh i was in the seventh or the eighth grade no i was in the seventh grade i remember my mom took me to the hairdresser to get a haircut and for some reason i don't know why every time it was my turn to get my hair cut by her she got really really chatty 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 with other people and she cut all my hair off like I mean she gave me you guys know what the what's that called the mullet haircut is that's exactly what she gave me and then I had super super thick straight hair so she got a two shorts that was all st standing up and my brother was like you look like a wet chicken he used to say it to me all the time and I used to get so angry because I was like oh my god but I didn't like stress too much about it because my hair grew really fast so within a month my hair didn't look as bad so that's something that happened question to me in middle one school. do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed I sleep with it open because my closet is like kind of a walk-in closet and it has a light and um, so I leave the light on because my son does sleep in my room so um, yeah so I sleep with the closet door open um, but in my other apartment um, I always slept with the door with the closet door closed so question two do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from the hotel? Um, I definitely do not do that because I usually tend to bring my own shampoo and conditioner when I travel. Um, but if it's something that's, you know, that I've never tried and I really like it, then yeah, I will take it. But 90% of the time, no, I don't take it. All right, question three. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or tucked out? I definitely don't tuck myself in. I cover myself. Um, so definitely, I guess, tucked out because they're just on top of me. They're not like, I don't like tuck them under my body or whatever. So definitely, I guess, tucked out. Um, question four. Have you ever stolen a street sign before? No. Why would I? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a really funny question. Definitely not. Okay. Five. Do you like to use post-it notes? Yes. I am a person that when I have post-it notes, I will kind of go crazy with them. So I think that's one reason why I do not purchase them and I do not have them because I will literally put them everywhere and it's just it's kind of crazy. So um, I do like to use post-it notes. Uh, six, do you cut out coupons but then never use them? Yes, I am guilty of that. I have done that where I have cut out coupons and I'm like, oh, I'm going to use them, I'm going to use them. But then when I get to the place that I'm actually supposed to use them, I do not because I totally forget that I have them. So I'm horrible at using them, but I definitely do cut them out. <laughs> Um, seven, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Oh my god, that's horrible both. <laughs> um, if I have to pick one, I guess bees because, you know, you can always run away from bees. A bear, you, you really can't outrun and if they attack you, I mean, forget it, it's over for you. So definitely, I guess the bees. I wouldn't want either, but if I have to pick one, I guess the bees. <laughs> Eight. Do you have freckles? No, I do not have freckles, but I do have a lot of um, beauty marks. Um, nine, do you always smile for pictures? Um, it depends. If it's a surprise picture, no, but if it's a planned picture, I try to smile. Even if it's just like, you know, those fake smiles, I try to smile, so yes. Um, ten, what is your biggest pet peeve? I have quite a few pet peeves. Um, so I'll probably just at least tell you two. One that really drives me insane, and you guys are gonna think I'm nuts. But I hate when you go in your refrigerator and you know how you cook your condiments, your, your mustard and your ketchup. I hate when people do not clean the top of your condiments and then they leave it and it dries up and it gets that little crusty thing on it. It drives me insane when I see that and I have to unscrew the top, go to the kitchen, sink and put hot water and rinse it and completely clean it out. I just hate it, it drives me nuts. And another pet peeve that I have, beauty related, is I hate, 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 hate with a passion to see chipped nail polish. 
it drives me insane when I see my sisters and they have that little teeny tiny bit of nail polish on their finger and it's like really you can't take a cotton ball and just wipe that off and take it off I mean it drives me nuts so those are two things that really really ugh, it drive me nuts okay number 11 do you ever count your steps when you walk um I do it like when I'm walking with my son, like we'll play a game and we'll count how many um, bricks or something. Like if I make it into a game, that's the only time I do it. But in general, when I'm walking, no, I do not. Um, 12. Have you ever peed in the woods? No, I have not. Um, 13. Would, what about pooped in the woods? Definitely no. I am not a person who wants to go camping, go roughing, whatever. That is so not me. I am such a city girl. Hex, no. I don't want to pee or poop in the woods. So no. Um, 14. Do you ever dance even if there's no music playing? Yeah, sometimes I find myself doing that. Like if I'm washing dishes and a song gets in my head, I might just start, you know, back and forth. Or sometimes even sitting down, um, watching television, like a song will pop in my head and I'll just be like, oh, you know. Yeah. So yes, I have done that. 15. Do you chew your pens and pencils? No, I have never done that. Chew my pen or my pencils. Um, but before I used to be a really, really bad nail biter, which I'm not anymore, thank God. So no, I, don't, I do not chew my pens or pencils. Um, 16. How many people have you slept with this week? Um, nobody. <laughs> because I'm single, I don't have a man, so no, I haven't slept with anyone. Unless you count my son, he sleeps with me sometimes, so he would be the only person. What size is your bed? Number 17, what size is your bed? I have a king size bed. Um, 18, what is your song of the week? The one song that I have been listening to a lot this week um, is that song that goes, mm, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, yeah. That song, <laughs> listen to it a lot. Um, 19, is it okay for guys to wear pink? Absolutely. I am not against a man wearing any color as long as he's confident in it and it looks good on him. More power to you. Um, 20. Do you still watch cartoons? Heck yeah. I am such an anime person. Um, <clears throat> cartoons, like those movies that come out, um, like Monster University and that kind of stuff. I'm the first one like, oh, I want to watch that. I want to watch that. So definitely, I'm a kid at heart at that. Cartoons, I think I'll watch them until I'm in my 90s. I absolutely love cartoons. Um, 21. What is your least favorite movie? Oh my god. My least favorite movie? You have to think about that one. There's been a couple of movies that they put it on and I'm just like, I can't watch it. But a movie that I know a lot of guys are going to get mad that I say this, but I absolutely despise that movie Scarface. Everybody, every guy's always like, oh my god, it's such a great movie and I hate that movie. I can't watch that movie. Every time it comes on TV, I'm just like, click, change it real quick. So a movie that popped in my head, that's one of the movies that I really do not like. 22. Where would you buy, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Well, if I tell you guys that, then you know where to find it. So I'm not answering that question. Not that I have any buried treasure, but I agree with Sam. If I tell you guys, what's the point of hiding it? <laughs> so 23, what do you, what do you drink with dinner? Well, I don't drink while I eat because that's not good for your digestion that while you eat, you drink. Um, so what I got in the habit of doing is that I wait like at least 15 minutes after eating and I, and I would drink some water or if I feel like having some juice but it's usually water 24 do what what do you dip a chicken nugget in barbecue sauce when I used to eat um, McDonald's way back in the day I used to always get barbecue sauce or sweet and sour but barbecue most of the time um, 25 what is your favorite food oh my god I like to try different foods but I'm gonna say the thing that I absolutely love and I could eat like seriously every day if it wasn't so bad for you is a cheeseburger. I am a cheeseburger oh, connoisseur. I love it. Love, love me a cheeseburger. 26. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? Movies. Oh, I thought if it was a TV show, it would be The Walking Dead. But a movie that I could watch over and over again and still love. Oh, which my sisters hated me for because I watched it so many times um, is Dirty Dancing and another one is The Color Purple and another movie that I could watch over and over again um, by Will Smith is um, I Robot. So those are three movies that I could watch. I'm a big movie buff so those are three movies I could watch over and over and over again. Um, 27. Last person you kissed or kissed you? Well the last person I kissed was my son. I kiss him every day so 
Um, yeah, so was Gabriel was the last person I kissed. Uh, 28, were, were you ever a boy uh, Girl Scout? No, I was never anything Girl Scout. Uh, 29, would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? Uh, no. Not because I'm approved, because I just, I don't think I have the body for it, but if if my body looked like it did when um, I was 15, yeah, I would do it. Okay, 30, when was the, this keeps doing sign. 30, when was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? Oh, the last time I wrote to someone on paper was about four years ago, I'm gonna say, four years ago. Cause I used to write all the time and I haven't, it's gonna be four years, definitely. 31, can you change the oil on a car? Um, I could if someone showed me how to do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, cause I've never had to do it myself personally cause I always take my car to, um, have it done over there but if I was shown how to do it I could do it myself definitely 32 ever gotten a speeding ticket no I'm not one of those people who drives fast 33 ever ran out of gas no and that's another pet peeve of mine I hate 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 being in a car that is almost on empty because I start thinking oh my god what if we run out of gas what if we run out of gas because I'm not gonna name a couple of people but I know a couple of people who have this bad habit of driving their cars almost on empty and it, it drives me bonkers, I hate that. So no, I have personally never run out of gas because I always make sure that my 34, car 34, favorite gas. kind of sandwich. My favorite kind of sandwich, I guess, would have to be turkey. Um, because I know I said if I go anywhere and if it has turkey with some other combo in it, I, I, I'll definitely go for it. So I would have to say turkey sandwich with any other kind of variety as long as turkey is in there. Um, 35, best thing to eat for breakfast. The best thing for me to eat for breakfast, oh my god, I love to go to like IHOP and have like the pancakes um, with with the uh, scrambled eggs so, and bacon. So I like kind of like a brunch style, I guess, um, you know, to share it and stuff. So I would have to definitely say eggs, bacon, and pancakes. Um, okay, <laughs> 36, what is your usual bedtime? My usual bedtime is um, 9 o'clock the latest because I have to get my son to bed. But he'll fall asleep before I do, so he's asleep by 9, the latest. And the latest, I will go to bed if I can't sleep, because sometimes I get insomnia. Um, will be like 11 o'clock, I try to the latest. And sometimes I'm asleep at 9 with him too, so it depends. But my usual time is between 9 and 11 o'clock at night. 37, are you lazy? Now, <laughs> this is a funny question. If you ask my sister that, she will say that I'm lazy. But personally, in my opinion, I'm not lazy. She would say that I'm lazy because she is someone who can't sit still and she gets things done like that. You know, but ever since I got my problem with my muscles, I can't do things like I used to. So I don't consider myself lazy because when something needs to get done, it gets done. So no, I don't think I'm lazy. <laughs> 38. When you were a child, what did you dress up as for Halloween? Um, well, one of the costumes I remember that I wore for Halloween. I dressed up as Casper the Friendly Ghost um, when we lived in New York. So that's one of my costumes that I remember. I've worn quite a few, but that's one that I do remember. Um, what is your Chinese astrological sign? I am the year of the rat. <laughs> um, 40. How many languages can you speak? Right now, I only speak two languages. I'm fluent in English and in Spanish. And um, one thing about me, I do like to learn new languages, so I do pick them up. Very quickly, I remember when I was in high school, my um, freshman year, for the summer, I took a Chinese course and I learned how to speak um, Mandarin Chinese, but I didn't keep it up. And I know that with certain words, if you change the tones, it's a totally different word. So I didn't want to like try to think I'm saying hello and then I was saying something else. So I, I kind of didn't keep it up, but I'm pretty sure I could pick it up again if I were to practice with someone. So currently I only speak two languages. 41, do you have any magazine subscriptions? Yes, I do. I have about two or three right now subscriptions. Um, 42, which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? I've never played with Lincoln Logs, so I'm gonna say Legos because I was a huge fan of playing with Legos. Um, 43, are you stubborn? Um, some people would say that I'm very stubborn, but I don't believe that I'm stubborn, stubborn, stubborn like that. Like, I can be flexible about things, but there's certain things that I just won't budge on. So I can be stubborn, but I'm not stubborn about everything. Um, 44. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? I have no idea because I've never watched either or, so I can't answer that question. 45. Ever watch soap operas? Yes. When I was in high school, me and my younger sister used to, used to watch Days of Our Lives because we liked 
um, that couple, not Sammy, uh, her sister and her boyfriend, we used to like to watch them, the original characters. <clears throat> so 46, are you afraid of heights? Yes, I am afraid of heights. I've gotten better, but I am really afraid of heights. <laughs> 47, do you sing in the car? Um, yes, I do. If a song comes on that I like, I sing it, even though I have a horrible singing voice. But if I'm feeling it, I go with it. <laughs> 48, do you sing in the shower? Um, I don't think I've ever sang in the shower. No, I don't think I have. Uh, 49, do you dance in your car? Yes, if a song comes on that I like, I start moving in my seat. I have no shame in that. 50, ever use the gun? Not a real gun. I've used a gun in the sense of a video game. If you like to play video games, um, there was this game we used to always play in this place called Good Times here in Massachusetts, which they closed a long time ago. And it was the game Time Crisis. I used to love to play that game, and it was a gun game. So that's the only kind of gun I've ever handled, a fake one. Uh, 51, last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. The last time I got a picture taken by a photographer was... Oh, um, no, not high school. High school was the first time. Um, that I got a photographer, photographer, and then the other time was when I was in my 20s that I got some pictures taken. Um, 52, do you think musicals are cheesy? No, I don't think they're cheesy at all because I, I quite enjoy music, so it just depends. You know, it's like different shows for different folks because some people like them, some people don't. So there might be some musicals that I might not enjoy and there might be some that I do, but I don't think they're cheesy at all. Um, 53, is Christmas stressful? No, Christmas is not stressful for me. I actually love Christmas. I like putting up my tree, decorating, and gift giving and everything. So for me, it, I, I really enjoy it. I mean, I think when I was younger, it was stressful because we would always try to cook together in the kitchen. And my advice to you is that when you have more than one cook, do not cook all at the same time. You're better off cooking individually in your homes so it won't be stressful. So that's my advice to you guys. And that's how come it's not stressful anymore because we break it up that um, we cook at home and then we just bring it all to the one place. So it's not stressful at all. 54, ever eat a pierogi? No, I've never had a pierogi. Um, 55, favorite type of fruit pie? My favorite type of fruit pie, um, that's hard. It's between apple and blueberry. Um, occupations, uh, 56, occupations you wanted to wanted to be when you were a kid when i was a kid i used to tell you all the time i was going to be a doctor my number one thing was i was like i'm going to be a doctor since i was like six years old i used to say that and i even had like those little um kitty stethoscope doctor thing everything and i used to play doctor everything and the only reason i did not become a doctor was because since i got sick and i spent so many um months in the hospital and just so many years just constantly going to the doctor um i just didn't want to be bothered being in the hospital so if I had not gotten sick, I probably would have became a doctor. Um, 57, do you believe in ghosts? Hex, yeah, I believe in ghosts. 58, ever have a deja vu feeling? Oh my God, all the time. I swear, I dream about things, I forget. And then when it's happening, I'm like, didn't this already happen already? I swear, I dreamt about this or this already happened. So yes, I do have that all the time. 59, you take a vitamin daily. Um, yes, I am taking multivitamins now because when you get older you need to supplement your body um 60 do you wear sandals um i don't wear sandals i'm not sandals sorry slippers i don't wear slippers because i haven't been able to find the slippers i had before that had a very good um sole that were not slippery because the way i have to get up i need shoes that have very good uh, bottoms that don't slip because then i'll just fall so I don't wear slippers anymore, but I used to before. 61, do you wear a bathrobe? No, I do not wear a bathrobe. Um, 62, what do you wear to bed? Um, I wear to bed just a big oversized t-shirt um, style, like pajama, that's what I like to wear because I don't like to wear anything that feels constricting at all. Um, 63, my first, your first concert. My first concert was a Kiss One Away here in Massachusetts, and they had this um, many, many different people in it, Rod Stewart, Gloria Stefan, um, oh my god, it was so many people. I don't remember who the other people are right now, but those are two people that I remember, and it was it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Um, 64, Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Ooh, that's hard, because I like to go to Target, and I do like to go to Walmart. But if I had to pick one, I guess Walmart, because Walmart has everything always cheaper, so I'm going to say Walmart. 65, Nike or Adidas? Um, I've never owned a pair of Adidas, believe it or not. And I've owned a pair of Nikes, so because I own them, I'm going to say Nike. 
66 Cheetos or Fritos? Uh, my grandmother loved Fritos, and if I had to pick between Cheetos or Fritos, I'm gonna pick the Fritos because I like the corn crunchiness of them. So 67 Peanuts or Sunflower Seeds? I'm gonna go with Sunflower Seeds because I really do like Sunflower Seeds more than Peanuts. 68 Ever hear of the group Tres Bien? No, I'm not. I have not heard of them. 69 Ever take dance lessons? Yes, I did. When I lived in New York, I took jazz. Um, which I guess what they would call contemporary now. Um, I took ballet. Um, I, I took a lot of different dance classes. Dance for me was like my number one passion over sports. I absolutely love dance. Um, and I think that if I had not gotten sick and it was like the way things are now, where it's so easy, they have more resources for you to become like a dancer and stuff like that, I would have definitely become a dancer. I, one of my dreams was to be like a backup dancer. I wanted to work with Paula Abdul because she was the person, the choreographer to work with back in the 80s. If you guys are not my age, you know what I'm talking about. So definitely that was one of my dreams was to work with Paula Abdul and dance for her because she's fabulous. I love her. Uh, okay. 70. Is there a profession you pictured your future spouse doing? Um, no, because I haven't looked that far into the future. Um, I don't know if I would ever get married again because I've been... Um, married for I, I don't know if I would get married yet, so I can't answer that question. 71. Can you curl your tongue? Yes, I can. <laughs> can't believe I just said that. Uh, 72. Ever won a spelling bee? Yes, I have. I won many, many spelling bees. I actually, like I tell everybody all the time, I was the biggest nerd in school. And um, during secondary school, you know, the third, fourth, and fifth grade, um, when I this, which is when I moved here to Massachusetts in the third grade. Um, I entered many, many spelling bees and I won every single one that I was in, but I didn't pursue it because this is a, my advice to you guys who have children. If your children are very talented in something, you need to be there for them. Um, and this is a tangent, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so they continue doing it because my mom, so she was a single mom and she went to school and she worked. Um, she was not able to always go to my, um, my competitions. So since she wasn't there, I didn't see the point of me doing it because, you know, I wanted her to be there to be cheering me on. And I understood why she wasn't there, so I didn't continue it. So I'm not blaming her in any way. It's just I'm saying that as a parent, if you have to really encourage your child to really be there so they can pursue things that they enjoyed because I really did enjoy doing that. And that was a long answer. I'm so sorry about that. But yes, I did win many, many spelling bees. 73, have you ever cried because you were so happy? Oh my God, yes, I have. I remember one time when I was in my, I went to my, oh, help us up right My son's uh, meeting at one of his schools, and um, they were just raving and talking about him, saying how how good he, how they love working with him and all stuff like that, because he's such a pleasure and all stuff like that. And I just, I got really emotional because you know it, it made me happy to see that they recognize what I recognize in my child. So I got a little tear and I started crying. And, it was because I was just so happy. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big baby. I cry all the time over things. I even cry over commercials sometimes, so yeah. <laughs> 74, own any record albums? Yes, I still have all my vinyls that I purchased when I was younger of songs from the, you know, the late 80s, early 90s. I still have them. Um, 75, own a record player? No, I do not. I wish I did because if I did, I would play them because I have songs um, that you can't get right now like one of my favorite songs from the back then was cold hardest thing yeah i have a remix of that and i would love to play that one okay 76 regularly burn incense no i used to burn incense back when it was really a thing in the 90s but i haven't ever since then 77 ever been in love yes i have i've been in love um 78 who would you like to see in concert i would love to go see um there's quite a few people but i'm gonna think I would like to go see Britney Spears in her Las Vegas show because I heard it's amazing. I would love to go see Cher in concert. I absolutely love her. And another person that I would love to go see in concert is Justin Timberlake, to just name a few. Um, 79, what was the last concert you saw? I haven't been in a concert in forever, so um, if it's in person, the one that I went to when I was a kid, on TV, it would be Cher. Okay. 80, hot tea or cold tea? Definitely hot tea all the time. Only time I drink cold tea is like if it's super, super hot and I'll mix it with lemonade. Um, 81, tea or coffee? Definitely coffee, I'm a coffee drinker. 
82 sugar or snickerdoodles you know I've never eaten a snickerdoodle you guys are gonna think I'm um, weird but never have one so I guess sugar um 83 can you swim swim well well I haven't swam in a while um so I don't know but before I got sick the you know that I with my muscle disease I was a, a perfect swimmer like seriously if you used to tell me I should have been a fish my mom used to tell me that all the time because I could do any kind of you know the backstroke the butterfly all that stuff I used to do it um, I was definitely a swimmer so I, I would imagine that I still can't swim that well I don't know I haven't tried so I would say yes 84 can you hold your breath without without holding your nose uh, yes but I can't hold it for very long <laughs> 85 are you patient yes my sister always jokes with me and tells me that I am a saint, I'm an angel because I'm so patient. And it's like I tell her, you know, it's just, that's just how God made me. I'm patient. <laughs> 86. DJ or band at a wedding? I would say definitely a DJ because there will be more versatility in music. Um, 87. Ever won a contest? Yes, I have won a contest, actually. Um, I've won uh, two YouTube things, which I was really surprised about and um before one other stuff as well not on youtube but you know just in general 88 ever have plastic surgery no i have not ever had plastic surgery and i'm not against it either um 89 which are better black or green olives Ooh, they're both really good but i would have to say the ones that i tend to eat more is green when i do eat olives so green ones 90 can you knit a crochet no 91 best room for a fireplace i am going to say the best place is definitely the living room because this way everyone can sit around and get the heat of it and watch tv so i'm gonna say living room 92 do you ever want to get married well um no i don't i don't think i want to get married again um I ha and um to answer 93 if married how long have you been married okay well this question <laughs> okay let me just get into a little personal stuff Technically, I am still married because my divorce has not been finalized. So yes, I am still married. And how long we have been still? We got married in 2000, 2003. So you guys do the math. Um, 94. Who was your high school crush? Oh my God, my high school crush was this um, guy. Uh, his name is Jimmy Rivera, and we were in school together for the longest time. And I. It was really bad like I used to get to the point where like when we take the bus even if I didn't see him on the bus I knew he was on the bus it's like I could sense him and I would get so nervous and I used to be like oh my god he's on the bus he's on the bus so he was my definitely my um, high school crush of a real person um, a celebrity oh my god what was his name I don't remember the celebrity one if I remember I'll put it in the video um, <laughs> 95 do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way. Hex, no. I've never been like that. I've never been a person to be dramatic or over the top and throw a hissy fit is what we call it. Um, definitely no. I don't do that. Um, 96, do you have kids? Yes, I have one son. His name is Gabriel. And this is 97, do you want kids? No, I don't want any more children. There was a point that I did, but as of today, no, I don't want any more kids. I'm very, very content with the one that I have. Um, 98. What's your favorite color? Purple, my favorite color. Um, 99, do you miss anyone right now? The person that I miss every single day is my grandmother, America. I miss her every single day. I really wish she was um, around now so she could be here to really just, you know, just to be here, miss her. She was the rock of this family. So that is it. Those are all the questions. I'm sorry this video is super long, but it was 100 questions. And thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm going to put a couple of people who I would like to do this tag. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.